Hi, welcome back. It is March 20th and it's fairly warm out, about 10 degrees Celsius. Still not really warm enough for the bees to be out here, but uh, they're out and they're not looking happy. So, what's going on today? I opened the lid and I noticed a little bit of mold in there. Now, usually, from what I'm reading, when that happens, it's because the colony is not strong enough to keep the mold at bay in the hive. So, I'm going to try and do some sort of <laughs> home remedies here to try and help them out. I'm going to investigate it a bit today, look inside and see exactly what's going on and if there is anything I can do to help them. Um, I'm hoping I can because this is the first time the bees have really made it this, this long and this season for us. Uh, usually by this time they're all dead. So um, they're alive right now and uh, we're really happy for it. I have some sugar water out. I'm giving them some pollen right now. They seem to be eating. Uh, so hopefully they start eating some more. Now, as you can see, they're pretty frantic here. I've got another lid I brought down here, a black lid. This one gets a little hotter in the sun, so I'm going to switch it out for this lid. Now you'll see, that's what I'm talking about. Look at the moisture building up in there. moldy in there too so to be safe I'm gonna go get my suit on and I'm gonna get inside of there I'm gonna switch out the lids and uh, see what's going on in there but I like to put my suit on when I get inside of the hive because these bees have stung me before so I'll be right back okay all geared up safety first seems like there's something going on in the neighborhood we got some sirens Anyhow, uh, I don't want to leave this open and letting too much airflow going on in there. It's going to get the queen upset. But uh, we're looking at the mold, and you know, you're, you're thinking it's probably what's killing my bees is the mold. But it's actually not what's killing your bees. What's killing your bees is something else, and the hive is out of balance. And therefore, it is throwing off your bees' production. And they can't keep the mold at bay. Normally, they'd be scrubbing and they'd be fanning and keeping the humidity under control and the temperature just right but it seems my colony is dying off and there's not enough bees to do the job of controlling the temperature and the humidity in the hive. So as you can see here is we have got they're here they're eating they're doing their thing but there's mold growing along the edges so I'm going to switch out the boards. This board here has a more venting on it this is a summer board. I'm switching it out. It's got more venting on it to let more air flow. It is getting warmer out now, so I'm hoping that'll work out and be okay for them and they don't freeze to death in here. Please don't freeze to death. But this is what we're going to do for now. I'm going to also assume that in the bottom of the hive there's a ton of mold as well, so we're going to try and um, <clears throat> clean that out a bit. But what was out? I had another thing I wanted to do, and I'm going to throw some rice up here. To help control the humidity so let me go grab my rice I'll be right back okay so I've got my home remedy for trying to control humidity I didn't have any silica packs or anything like that so I've just got a little plastic lid here it was clean made sure it was all clean with some baked rice so there's no mites or anything living in this my uh, rice no dust mites nothing so I'm gonna put this in the top of the hive and I'm gonna come back in a few days and I'm gonna check that and see how that's doing. Now, I'm not quite sure if this is just going to land on there and close it up, but it probably will. So, we're going to have to put a spacer on there. I'm going to have to space that out. I'm going to put a super on here, I think. I 
otherwise that's just going to sit on top there and there's going to be no airflow into the rice container. What are we going to do? Hmm. Well, the other option is to put it underneath here in the hive. But then it disturbs their route of transport in there, and I don't want to upset them in any way. I could also probably put some fine holes along the edge of this so the air can flow in and out and the bees can't get in. So we're going to modify this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go poke a bunch of tiny holes inside of this ridge here. So air can get in and out of there, but the bees can't. And then the lid will sit on top and close it right in. So I'll be right back up. Alright, so <laughs> on the way back to the house I realized that plastic might not work out the best for me um, because I don't want it mold growing on it and to have to be taken out and clean it all the time. And This might just be a little easier. I have paper bags uh, kicking around, so they're cheap, they're environmentally friendly, and what I'll end up doing is I'll just end up switching out the whole bag and rice because this bag's probably going to catch some mold too. So. Um, <sighs> The bees can't get in it, the moisture can, and uh, it should work out. I can make it any size I want. Just gonna fold it here like this, spread it around in there a bit, make it nice and thin, and I'll be able to keep my bees a little drier. I guess I should have stapled this shut, but you know, you live and learn. I just did a bunch of folds. It out and throw it on top. That's it. I'm gonna throw this lid on there. Watch out, cuties. I can't afford to lose even one of you. Come on, buddy. Go. And there we go. The hot lid is on full airflow for today and now we're going to do a little bit of opening up down here in the door. You can see they're really trying to open up their bottom door. So they're not seeming to like the jar much for the sugar water. They're really after this over here but I'm trying to get them on the jar. I don't want the jar in the hive yet dropping in the water because of the moisture issue. So you know I'm really at a lose-lose here. I'm trying to keep that there like that. Put my gloves on because I'm going to mess around in their doorway here. Oh, what do we got here? There it is. What's this? What is that? Hmm. Oh, I guess I can't get to it. Yeah. I really want you on this. We're gonna have to get in this thing. It's the only problem with a bee suit is when you need to taste something, you can't really get in there and taste it. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh yeah, that's flowery. Oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. That's really good for you, by the way. Don't ask me what exactly is in it that's good for you other beekeepers that know that. I'm not a professional, I'm a hobby beekeeper. I mainly do it for the species. I don't sell any honey. We only give it away to family and friends. Um, we've had buckets of it, but we don't sell it. It's not a, what we're here for. I'm, I'm here to keep the species alive. Even if I have to spend money every year buying a new colony. <laughs> and we love them. Let's see here. Let's give them some more air. 
Now I put my old wine box cardboard on here. The wind just rips through this dive. They're fanning. So she's calling for more more air. There we go. This opened up in the winter time this crack. So I had to end up putting the cardboard in there to try and keep it from getting windy in their hive. Gave him some more air. They're really enjoying that sugar water. Oh, somebody's glued into this one. That's nice. And we will be on our net way now with these moldy lids. So like I said, it's not the mold that killed your bees, and it's not the mold that's killing your bees, but it is a sign that your colony is failing. Um, what's happening with these little buggers is they can't keep the hive under control as far as humidity and moisture goes so in the spring when it's getting warm like this it just it's a breeding ground for this type of mold and this isn't really the poisonous stuff this is penicillin basically but uh, for them it's not penicillin and it, it does cause havoc in their hive so it's really a good idea to keep this clean and um, at least tomorrow is going to be a little warmer so I'll be back out here hopefully with you guys again and I'll show you what I'm going to do, but I think tomorrow what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to switch everything out and move the hive over onto a new stand and a whole new hive, all new, new. If I can do it, we're going to see. But uh, right now, I put that little bag in there. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to open it up and see how much moisture is in it, and that's going to determine if I'm going to switch the whole hive over or not. So until then, have a good one, and don't forget to like and subscribe.